Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. Today we are with Dave Klager, the spokesperson for California Air Resources Board. Just come into the main. Dave, since 1996, the Clean Air Act bill has allowed you to have this diesel regulation in place. What happened that Volkswagen was able to bring cars into California and have them certified and then find out that they weren't certified. The federal standards as of 1996 allowed for diesel vehicles and I believe it was approved by the Air Board in 1998. Um, at that point uh, they were allowed on the market as, as cleaner vehicles and what has happened since then is starting in about 2009, 8 or 9 as far as we can tell, VW began attaching these devices to the engines of their smaller diesel vehicles. We're calling them defeat devices? Defeat devices, right. And uh, from there until 2015, those were active. Uh, so that's, that's what we're dealing with, is that long a sweep. In California, we're talking about maybe 50,000 cars. So these defeat devices actually allowed for certification to be accurate. The way the defeat device was set up, it would enable the NOx trap, basically, during the, uh, the testing phase. Uh, at the point that the car was taken off of dynamometer, which is the test device, the vehicle would then pick up signals that the conditions had changed, basically that it was going on the road. And at that point, the trap would shut off. Now let's step back one step, just because people, some people don't understand that these emissions can be very harmful to the health of public people in, in California. You can get acid rain, smog, and the NOx can cause a lot of health problems like asthma. NOx is a key ingredient in ozone, and ozone is one of our largest uh, contributors to irritating conditions like asthma, cardiovascular disease, those kinds of things. So for the millions of Californians, particularly those who live in the San Joaquin Valley and Southern California, this is very, very important. Uh, it's important to all of us, but people who have those conditions and who are young, who are old, uh, they are particularly affected by this. Any, any answer as to why this was happening? And you worked with them trying to find out what was happening, at what point did they finally say to you, we have no other answer, we actually did this intentionally? We, uh, we discussed it with them, I think the first time really in detail, on, in September this month. And uh, that was when we finally had a, a full-on conversation with them and they finally told us really what was going on to the full extent. And will CARB assess some fines? We're not to that point. Uh, we certainly have that authority, and I would say it's, you know, given what's happened, it's certainly not out of the possibility. Right now we want the cars fixed. I've never seen an executive come out so strongly saying that they screwed up, apologizing to the public. Was this part of the agreement that they would even be able to sell cars in California, that they had to admit they were wrong? Um, they admitted to us what they were doing. Uh, we had no, as far as I know, we had no conversation with Mr. Wintercorn or any of, any of his associates. Okay. Dave, thanks so much. Sure.